Hello and welcome to our Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, August 31st, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, in my commitment to wholeness, I am always showing up wholly in this moment. And, you know, tuning into this Virgo energy and connecting into our wholeness, connecting into the, the wholeness of our personal potential in this moment, tuning into the wholeness that this moment offers us, this wholeness in our state of uh, shifting into maturity. I'm like, do I have the maturity card? I do not have the maturity card, but I'm feeling that energy. We're expanding in. And today, the big thing is that we have Mercury shifting from zero degree Virgo back to 29 degree Leo. Now this is almost the eclipse point. The eclipse point was 28, 28 Leo. So we have Mercury coming back, finishing up this retrograde over the next six days. We're finishing up this retrograde process and coming back to this point, this 28 degree energy. And it's bringing through revelations. Not to mention, what's fascinating about this is we have Mars charging in. Mars, 27 degrees today, making its way to this 28 degree point to meet Mercury. And we have Uranus feeding in. So we have Mars, Mercury, and Uranus all working together. Mars charging forward, taking us into our heart-centered passion. I have the sharing card, the Queen of Wands reversed. So we're moving into this, but we're not quite there yet because we still have these revelations to come through. We still have to hit that eclipse point. What did it reveal about your heart? Ooh, and I'm showing you this. What is coming up from the surface? What is breaching? What is breaking the surface of your heart space right now coming and bringing forth these revelations? And then Uranus and Aries is like, and I'm prepared to liberate. I am prepared to break through. I am prepared to support you in taking you deeper into yourself in and through this process. It is a bit of a birthing process, so there are all kinds of <laughs> feelings, emotions that you may be going through as we move and work into this. But those are the factors you need to realize and commit to your wholeness, commit to your truth, commit to your I am, commit to your vibration over these next couple days so that you can reap the greatest benefit from these energies because they are very strong and it, it's, a, it's potent lessons that are coming up in and through this. Think back to the eclipse. What was going on for you? There was a lot going on. You know, lots of energy. I've heard from so many people about different things that have gone on for them. What was going on for you? And has your heart making made that, making, <laughs> has it making, has it made the breakthrough for you? Are you still choosing fear or are you moving forward into choosing love? What have been these experiences? The experiencing part is like, yeah, you've been tested. <laughs> you've been tested. A lot has been going on. But are you choosing your heart? Are you choosing the wholeness of this experience? This is why we have these Leo eclipses and they're not done yet. We still have more Leo energy to help us crack open our heart. But to me, this convergence, this Mars, Mercury, Uranus energy is definitely a major breakthrough for all of us that are paying attention and showing up wholly and heart-centered in this moment. So besides that, we have the moon shifting into Capricorn. So Mercury back into Leo, you know, has the ability to feel somewhat lighthearted. However, being that it is taking us back to the eclipse point, you know, there could be some, some heaviness that needs to be dealt with worked through in and through this. Like I said, I have the experiencing card <laughs> with this. And so that plus the moon and Capricorn show up for those things. Play, bring them joy, find the love in them, but just realize that, you know, although we have this strong Leo energy finishing up, there still may be some heavy lessons that we're working with at this time. The stuff that's surfacing, we're breaching through it though. Like breach like the whale, break on, break on through to the other side. So the moon and Capricorn is saying, show up for this stuff. You've got the ability. You have been maturing. You have been stepping into your wholeness to do it. Show up in personal responsibility. How are you responding to that? So what's showing up? Show up wholly, show up from the heart. All right, so that moon in Capricorn, actually before Mercury shifts into Leo, the moon and Mercury are meeting at zero degrees. This is a transformational degree. This is a degree where we can find our center, find our balance as we trek back into 
into the stuff, into the sludge. <laughs> Uh, but that's going to be fairly early in the day because Mercury is making the shift into Leo at 8.28 a.m. Pacific time. And like I said, it's going to be over the next six days that we finish up this retrograde process. And then it won't be till September 9th that Mercury does move back into Virgo. Um, so we have this time. And I feel like, I feel like after Mercury goes direct in Leo, I feel like that's when like that joy is really going to flood in and we're like, it's a brand new day. <laughs> I'm feeling good, you know, and it's not necessarily that circumstances are going to change, but I feel like, you know, this is part of this, the birth of the new way our hearts are showing up at this time. It's going to, it's going to take a little birthing process <laughs> to bring this forward. All right. Besides that, we have the sun trining the moon, strong earth energy. This is happening at eight degrees. Eight degrees is that Capricorn degree. So there is a strong Capricorn Saturn energy holding this day. Again, what is your personal responsibility to your wholeness, to yourself, to your personal healing process, showing up for whatever this process is with this eclipse. This is part of your healing process. And this is part of what the universe is asking you to show up fully and wholly for yourself at this time. Attending to the healing, we have Mars in conjunct Chiron, 27 degrees. That's a nine energy. Things are ending. These old things are ending. As we break, as we break on through, we breach through these old energies and move into aligning with our passion, aligning with that soul desire. Things are being healed. Chiron is clearing, healing these old contracts. Again, your job is to show up, know these things will end. <laughs> it will not be ongoing forever, knowing that it will end, but show up for the experience, okay? What's the good? What's the joy? What's the lesson? God, those questions are so good. What's the good? What's the joy? What's the lesson in this? Keep going into that as you clear up these things. Find the gratitude for these things. I was listening to an Abraham and she was like, thank you for the juiciness that you brought to this uncomfortable situation. She didn't say uncomfortable. She was talking about an uncomfortable situation. Thank you for the juiciness. Thank you for the experience that you've brought me through. Thank you for pushing me so that I could breach and break through these energies. It is powerful, but like I said, it is also experiencing. But I, I really got really good parts. It's not so much about focusing on letting go. I feel like you already have let go of the situation, surrendered it to spirit. It's not really it about the letting go. It's about tuning in so that you know how you are meant to show up in your heart in these divine possibilities. Tune in. Listen into your heart. How is your heart leading you? And let your heart lead you. And besides letting your heart lead you in and through these experiences, in and through breaching, breaking through. I have, I love this card. I have the dream time card, the creation card. And I love the guidance in here. Close your eyes, tune into your breathing, allow yourself to sink deeply into the heart of the living creation that you are. As you notice your breath becoming steady and slightly deeper than usual, observe the urge within you that is begging to come forth in some creative action. Pay attention to images, sounds, feelings that beckon your awareness. And there you will find a key as to the manner in which you will express this magnificent pulse. Your breath is the crossover between spirit and physical reality. Breathing comfortably and steadily aligns you with spirit, which then brings clearer focus on the creative expression that is preparing to be birthed through and from you. Discard habitual thought patterns that would prevent the manifestation of what you are being prompted to bring forth. Ask yourself to take risks with this self-expression and all creation will smile upon you. Dig in tune in because there are so many messages. This energy, like I said, is so ripe. The convergence of these energies, the Mars, Mercury, Uranus connection, it screams breakthrough. It screams revelation. It screams moving more passionately, more impeccably in the direction of your desire, in the direction of your heart. And that direction is the direction that your soul is calling you into day after day after day. So, this is potent energy. Work with it. Experience. I'm right here with you. <laughs> Book a reading if you want to dive deeper into your personal chart, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.